Bougainville Village Action Group is a non-government organisation in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It conducts social development activities in 80 villages around the international township of Oroville. Woman Power aims to uplift and empower village women on many fronts and to build confidence in the women to play a role in developing their village. This is done through facilitating women's groups that implement community projects, through the operating of savings and loans clubs, and the teaching of skills to assist economic independence. The first objective of the Woman Power Project is to give a kind of we feeling among the women. Then the next one is to give them the confidence that they can also play a positive role in village development. To give opportunity for outside exposure, free the women from the clutches of the money lenders, tackle the women issues in the bioregion. Women issues like alcoholism, women beating, rape, sexual abuse, the problems like this. There are now 2,000 women in 80 clubs that take part in regular meetings, workshops and seminars. The activities raise awareness of gender, caste, village development and other issues. The women form a group that meets regularly and each person contributes 50 rupees every month. After six months of good savings, the village action gives an incentive where we deposit 150 rupees per member into the group's revolving fund. After one year, if their savings and participation in activities are good, the women start to give loans to each other, starting with amounts of one or two thousand rupees. In the monthly meeting, they do gender and caste discussions, games and self-development activities where they learn to work together. In meetings, we analyze the problems of the village. We get them to identify certain things, such as the basic needs or major problems in the village. Then they make a plan and contact the village leaders and the panchayat, government body. If there is an important problem in the village, previously it would be solved by the elders and the panchayat leaders, the men. Now women are getting together and solving problems themselves. They are very proud they are doing this. And now they are so interested, they want more problems to solve. Clubs identify themselves according to caste, as either Dalit, formerly known as untouchable, or non-Dalit. When we are thinking of bringing change in the people, instead of trying to work with the individuals, if we start to work with the groups, individuals feel more supported. Okay, I'm not alone. I have the support of the group. Another aim of the project is to bring Dalit and non-Dalit people together in an attempt to overcome caste differences that prevent the village from functioning as a single unit. Sports days are very successful in bringing people together in the spirit of play. <laughs> Dalit and non-Dalit won't mingle in the village. They wouldn't go to exchange programs before. Some members won't eat when they go to a Dalit place. But when they talk in a discussion, they often find they're proud to share matters. The women's clubs do micro-projects for the improvement of the village. These often bring together people to work for a common purpose. This is a medicinal herb garden started by a club. Another common micro-project is fixing the road in the village. This project shows women from two clubs collecting the soil to level the rutted road. So what actually happens at a women's club meeting? This is a regular meeting of Kali Magal Club in Putunagar village. The group has been discussing practical village issues such as access to water and presenting a petition to a local politician about it. They are then given a topic to consider and debate in order to question systems of oppression. In a village, there is a family, a widowed mother with an 18-year-old daughter and a son. The daughter supports the family on her income and saves some money slowly and buys a cycle to travel to work each day. Later on, the boy gets a job in a nearby village and tells the mother, I will only go to work if you get the cycle for me. Would you give the cycle to the son or the daughter? The girl worked hard and bought the cycle. If I'm the mother, I'd give it to the daughter. Son, son, only the son. The daughter will marry and leave the house. The property belongs to the son only. If I'm a mother with a boy and a girl, 
Even if the girl earned and purchased it, I'd give it to the son. It belongs to the girl. The boy is just roaming around and won't work. If he wants to go to work and earn, he can purchase a cycle for himself. Whilst this might seem a simplistic topic, it highlights the daily problems faced by women in a culture that prioritises males over females. At the end of the meeting, the women give their monthly contribution and do the bookkeeping. The clubs encourage women to increasingly organise themselves to get together with other groups, to exchange ideas and recognise each other's achievements. Today is International Women's Day and these women are celebrating with the other clubs in their village, playing games and donating gifts to the local school children. As well as the village celebrations for International Women's Day, Village Action holds a collective function, a chance for the 2,000 women from all the clubs to come together once a year. In the village, there's no freedom. If you talk freely, people will comment, how she is talking? We can't play there or speak there. Here at Village Action, we are doing games today. But if I walk fast in my village, people will say how she is walking. So at Village Action, we are happy to run, to play, to talk like this. It makes me jolly. People in the village said we shouldn't have a women's club. But after we formed and put in a hand pump, the people who opposed us came and used the water. So that's an achievement. <laughs> We were afraid, shy in the house before. After joining, we've seen the MLA, the Panchayat President, and got the courage to talk and feel that women are equal. Alone, we wouldn't do this work, but as a group, we can. Previously, people were teasing, what will this woman's group do? Does the hen ever crow in the morning? Now, even the youth club and headmen support us. Previously, women wouldn't speak. We didn't know how to make government contacts. Now all the village development work is given to the women's club.